I remember Burke Trend saying to me back in the 1980s yeah. that this job is almost impossibly difficult because of the technical complexity of the material that comes up to him and to the Prime Minister. Yes. Did it seem to you that, oh, the, yes. that, 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 that the just utter complexity of material was almost overwhelming? It is, you, you have to develop a skill mm. of dealing with complex issues, even though you don't understand the detail, yeah. you understand the direction and the issues which need to be resolved at a high level. Uh, I remember one discussion on social security, I won't go into it, but it was, believe me, it was mm. hideously complex. And yet when you boiled it down and listened to the problem, it resolves itself into a number of issues yeah. which could be dealt with by uh, senior officials or, or by ministers on the advice of, 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 of officials. Uh, and that is true. It is a, it, the problem of the job is that the, the sheer wealth of issues mm. which need to come to the centre mm. to be resolved is great. Yeah. Uh, and the, I mean, it's a part of the delight of it. You never know what you'll be dealing with next. Uh, and the challenge of getting it right and getting the key pieces of information together in a form which ministers can absorb, assimilate, mm. and give a sensible decision on is, 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 is hugely challenging, but also very rewarding if you get it right. And did you look on your own appointment at a, a job description of what the cabinet secretary does, and did you follow that, or is it just much more amorphous? Um, I, I came to the job having worked quite closely with Robert Armstrong yeah. uh, and having worked with, uh, with, as, as, with Robin Butler yeah. having se and both in the Cabinet Secretariat where I'd worked for Mrs Thatcher for three years but also as one of his permanent secretaries for five. So I knew roughly what, how Robin did the job, I knew how Robert had done the job and I, I took up the reins with my own conception of what the job was and of course as Harry McMillan would say, events, dear boy, mm. uh, then dictate. And you actually have your priorities, the things which you must do, and which you wish to ensure that you don't lose sight of, but you also have the day-to-day, -day, yeah. the things that go up and down, not necessarily forward, which you have to attend to, and the, and the, and the routines. There's a rhythm to the life at the centre, which no doubt is different under different prime ministers, but there's always a rhythm to the week, a structure to the week, mm. with PMQs in the middle and meeting of cabinet mm. at its appointed time. And Mr Blair used to see for an hour every Monday for an hour, just to yeah. go through the current issues in government. And that kind of structure um, shapes your life. And then within it, you have all sorts of things you have to fit in, like permanent secretaries on a Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock. Those things I knew. What you don't know is what, is what life will throw at the government and throw at you in the post. 